Hey guys, it's Chase. And I bought a $10 soldering iron from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how well this video is going to go, but I also have here an Xbox One X that needs an HDMI port. So we're going to attempt to solder in an HDMI port with this $10 soldering iron. So a lot of my viewers either own a repair shop, they fix electronics as a hobby, or they're interested in learning on how to fix stuff. And the big question is, is do you need a $300 soldering iron just to solder up an HDMI port? Is it really necessary? Can we do it with this $10 soldering iron? That's what I want to see. So going forward, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to modify the tip on this soldering iron because this soldering iron's tip is not going to be good for doing HDMI ports in general. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to use a bench grinder and I'm going to grind this down to a chisel tip so that uh, it'll be much better to solder with. It'll be much easier to do our ground anchors and it will be a lot better to do the 19 pins on the back of the HDMI port. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. I think that'll be too bad actually. I want to share a verse with you guys. It's in the King James Bible. It's John 316. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible also says in John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Christ can cleanse us from our sins if we acknowledge our sin and turn to him by faith. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the board and put flux around the port here. And we'll go ahead and pull this board off of the table a little bit more and grab our hot air. And we're gonna remove this port here. Perfect. All right, so here's our port off of the board now. First thing I wanna see is if we can wick out the holes here with some solder wick. Before we use this iron, I want to prep it. I want to put solder onto the end of it here. Ooh, will solder even stick to it? Oh man. Well, it gets hot. Ooh, that's gonna. That might work. Ooh. This solder does not even want to stick to this. This is not good. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can wick out these holes here. Almost. Wow, that wicked it out real nice. I mean, this iron is actually performing very well. Okay, let's move on here. Now I am using a sponge to kind of clean off this iron here. I'm going to apply some flux here to these right here. All right. Let's see. That also also helps when you have a really good wick too. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of this solder here. Let me try to add solder to it while I'm getting rid of it. Let's see if we can get it to flow here. Let's try to add some solder to this hole first. This is some leaded solder, so hopefully it'll get our solder to flow a little bit easier. Oh, I think that's gonna... It might.
Almost there. All right, let's move on here. Let's see. Add some solder to the hole here. I'm trying to wick out here. All right, so the success with wicking out the holes is not very good. We wicked out one out of four of them. Let's see about adding solder to the tip again. Ooh, we're starting to get solder to stick to the tip here, which is very good. This is going to help us in the long run. Let's uh, try to get these holes filled with solder here. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to wick out these holes again. See if we have any better success. Okay. Add some flux again. All right. Grab our wick and our iron. Let's try a second time here. All right. Wow. Oh. Almost. This hole is almost entirely wicked out. All right, let's try this one here. Almost. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the board around here. I'll try to wick it from this back side here. Sometimes if you get it wicked out enough, you can wick this back side here. If you get it wicked out enough on one side, then you can wick it out on the other side. All right, let's give it a go here. I'm gonna clean off the iron. All right, let's give it a try. That looks pretty cleared out to me. Let's move on to this one. Just about here. Let's try a little bit longer here. There we go. That one is licked out. Let me make sure this one is good to go to. Okay, that one's wicked out. All right, last one here. Let's wick out this last one. All right. Almost there. Looks like almost. Almost there. Let me get it wicked out here. Move on here. Got a little bit more wick here. All right. It's almost wicked out. Let me wick that one a little bit here. All right, let's flip the board over and I'll try to wick out this last hole here. It looks like it's almost wicked all the way through here. Oh, it looks like it is actually. All right, let's uh, wick out the rest of it here. All right, yeah, that works for me. All right, let's do some cleanup here. Real quick before we do all the rest of these, because this board is getting real nasty here, as you can see. All right, we're using some isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna just kind of clean up this old flux. It's just no good anymore. All burnt up. All right, look at that. This is all flux that came from either the solder or the wick. More than likely the wick mostly. Okay, let's zoom in here. We're gonna go ahead and wick up all these pads here. So I'm going to put some flux down on the pads. Now we're gonna take our iron with this wick here. All right. 
just go back and forth just like that. Perfect. Amazing. All right. Clear it with some alcohol and a Q-tip. I promise you the type of the right flux matters, I promise you. Use the right flux and you will not regret it. Put flux down on these pads here. Put our port in. Boom. Okay. Now, this is going to be the fun part. Soldering the actual HDMI port in. So, first things first, put solder on our iron. Okay, that's way more than enough. This is actually too much solder, but it works. So I'm going to run it right here on these pads while pushing down on the port. Try to get just some secured, you know? All right. Now we're going to take the iron here. A little bit of solder here. You want to try to get on the tip, but of course, you know, you do your best. All right. Now we want to do, you want to try to drag solder this. So I'm going to put more flux down because this is not going to work without more flux. All right. So what we're going to do is put more solder on the tip here, just like that. And we're going to run it and drag solder it just like this. Oh, this is already going to be a bad day. Oh boy. We're going to probably have to use a new method here. Okay. So instead what we're going to do, there are several different ways to solder in an HDMI port, you know? Several different ways. But the way we're going to have to do this here so we're actually going to have to do like a method where we can touch up. We have to be able to touch this area. Because obviously you can see this is not good. All right. We're going to clear this iron. And we're going to sort of touch it up like that. All right. Let's see if I can get a new view here. All right. Okay. I'm going to drag it along here. Okay, wow, this is starting to look really nice now. So we're going to have to wick that up right there at the end here. Because I don't want to waste any time, I'm going to put flux down here. And we're just going to put our iron right up on here. Flow it, just like that. Okay. Now the best way to do this is to do that touch-up method like I was mentioning. Where you just kind of touch it. But you know what, we're going to have to do that little drag method. Okay, so that is not going to work for us. Let me take a look here. So we need to somehow clear this bridge here. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. What we're going to do is we're going to clear this bridge by putting a tweezer in the way while the solder is liquefied, interrupting that solder flow. flux in here. All right. Here we go. All right, same thing here. All right, so we are isolating these joints here. Perfect. That works, that works for me. That, I mean, pad lifted. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. 
that's fine, that's fine, that works, solid, 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 and solid. All right, so these pins are all solid. <laughs> I was literally about to give up and just move in with the pay station, I'll be honest with you. This is the biggest thing right here. We're gonna clean up, and we're gonna flow these anchors on the bottom, and then we're gonna test it and see if our job worked. All right. Clean it up with a Q-tip here. All right. Here's the final product. Ooh, they just do not look good. Those do though. Yeah, just look at that. They look good. The rest, well, can't really be stopped here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and flow these grounds and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Throw some flux down here because we're going to need it. All right. All right. All right. Put it right in the hole there. Start flowing solder into the hole. And one more time. Done. That one is done. Well, there we go. Ah, yeah, that's done. Flow some solder. Flow a little bit more. We're done. Okay. Flow some solder. Flow one more time. We're done. Flow some solder. Flow one more time. We're done. Right that. Just grab, flick it. You know what I mean? Let, flick it. You know? You'll get some really nice joints there if you do that. All right. Let's clean this up here. And we are going to go ahead and test. Let's take a look at our joints here real quick. Better than factory. Better than factory with a $10 soldering iron. All right. Let's switch to the other camera. And we'll test it on our screen. All right. Plugged in the Xbox. Let's turn it on and see if our $10 soldering iron did a good job or not. All right. That is good. It's turning on. That is good. Yes, it's working. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I mean, I do, but I can't. That's absolutely crazy. Wow. So, wow, that's fantastic. Well, guys, that concludes for the video. This is a $10 soldering iron, and we were able to solder it in the HDMI port with just this iron. I am completely shocked. I, I did not think it was going to turn out as good as it did but also it was pretty bad. So if you watch some of my other videos about fixing an HDMI port, you can tell the difference between this soldering iron and this one. It's a complete world of difference. So I guess that settles it for the debate. Should you buy a $10 soldering iron to do a job like this? Or should you buy a $300 station? I mean, $300 is a lot of money. But you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.